Hello everybody and welcome to another Train Sim review. Today we're going to be looking at Train Sim World. Uh, and this is basically going to be a review on East Coastway and first look on the route. So yeah, so basically I just uh, got hold of this today and um, yeah, so we're going to have a first look at it. And uh, yeah, so basically uh, today is the 10th of uh, June and uh, basically uh, today we, uh, it's, it's my dad's birthday actually and uh, we went down to um, Scottsdale's because I wanted to buy him some new fish for the pond as his birthday present. And uh, basically uh, afterwards uh, we went to Mackie D's, got ourselves a drive through and then we sat having a picnic at uh, Whittlesford Parkway train station. And also uh, my nephew and uh, my sister and that was coming along and they just tagged along as well. Um, obviously we was doing the social distancing lark, all that lark. But um, basically uh, I took my nephew up to Wilsford Parkway station and, um, and, and the trains came in. And, and honestly his face, it's just, it, was, it was the excitement on his face. An eight, an eight year, a seven year old child, you know, it was just something about it, you know just to see my little nephew and the excitement on his face as the train come in it was just it was something it was something special it was it was really nice and it was just you know such a great a great thing to see and it was a really nice day actually and uh, yeah so he saw um, I believe it was a, a Stadler and a 387 and then we saw a 317 on on, on the uh, on the platform as well and he absolutely loved it and I honestly, I can't wait until this whole coronavirus thing is over so I can actually properly take him out properly when we're actually all properly allowed out and uh, yeah, take him to somewhere. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. Um, also, uh, just to say um, before we start off our review on this, uh, if anyone has seen my previous video on my thoughts and discussions of Train Sim World 2, I do apologise for any offence caused. I did put an age restriction on the video and did make you guys aware that there was some cursing involved within the video. And uh, I have noticed that the subscriber count has gone down slightly. And um, on honestly, it was just my thoughts and opinions on Dovetail Games on their approach towards the Train Sim World game. And I didn't want any offence, uh, you know, given, you know, there's no, no offence to it at all. Obviously, I do a praise of Dovetail Games and say, you know, they've made a perfect, you know, a lovely sim. We, we, we can't, you know, we, we have to thank them for what they've built for us, you know, and made. But, however... I just don't like the way that they approach things and I think that their marketing is hideous and they need to sort that out because to have to buy a new game just to get stuff to work properly is just unbelievable. They could have just done this with this game here we're looking at right now. Anyway, on to the review and that is of East Coastway. So let's take a look. Oh yes, got a nice uh, 377 cab view there. It's a completely first look, so it's my first look at this. Welcome to East Coast Way. Hmm. Oh wow, look at this. Okay. Press E to. Oh, we've got we've got some action going. We've got a a 377 leaving the station. That sounds pretty nice, actually. This is Brighton Station, the terminus of the Brighton Main Line from London and hub for several railways operating along the south coast of England. Head over to Platform 6 to catch a train. Oh, I like this. This is quite good, isn't it? Oh, I've got to catch this train, have I? I mean, look at this. The modelling's really nice. I quite like the look of this. Got a nice uh, 377 numbering on there. Got the hand, got the, you know, got, got, got the windscreen wipers. We've got a nice electronic board there which is going along nice nice bit of detail there's lots of action going on here at Brighton station as expected in reality it should be like this yeah it's looking quite good so far I'm liking the look at this oh we've got to find a seat now should we sit first class or should we, should we head towards the front of the train let's, let's head towards the front so it says sit in available seat Let's have a look through the train. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, so we've got toilets. Can we open them? Oh, that's a shame. It would have been nice if they added that sort of humorous factor where we can uh, go into the toilets and stuff like that. That would have been cool. 
I know I've been on one of these 377s before and I can say that this is very prototypical seating here. These ironing board seats, as I like to call them, are very prototypical and look smart. They've got the, the correct moquette on them. And yeah, it's looking really nice in here. It's looking, I like, yeah, you know, oh, I'm liking that texture in on the boards, the info boards there. We've got, we've got all the passenger safety instructions uh, on, the, on the doors and, you know, evacuating. It's all looking pretty nicely detailed. I'm liking this. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of modern traction in TS, in any train simulator, to be honest, because modern isn't just isn't really my cup of tea as such. But it is nice to see something different and uh, to have something different in the game to play with sometimes than just driving Heritage Steam and Diesel Locos. But modern trains, eh, they're not, you know, they're, it's debatable on what I think about them, you know, it's not really... I wouldn't say that they're my favouritest locomotives or styles. Of course, it's a long old train, isn't it? What is this, a 12 coacher? I'm liking how these doors open like that, that's cool. Okay, let's sit at the front, shall we? In these first class seats. Sat in my seat, why isn't it? Find a seat. Is it going to ask me to sit in the back coach or something? Is that what I've got to do? Why isn't it wanting me to do it work? Oh, yeah, look at this. That's really nice, isn't it? Look at that top uh, canopy there. So if it's not letting me sit in the front, it's letting me sit in the back. Oh. So, yeah, okay. Oh, now I can't move. Oh, that's just great, that is, isn't it? The East Coastway route provides vital transportation between historic towns, seaside resorts and coastal industry. You'll have the chance to experience both passenger and freight operations in the area. Yeah. Loving the soundscape, you can hear the seagulls going and stuff. Got some more 377s over there. You're currently riding a Class 3774 electric multiple unit. These run as 4, 8 and 12 car formations and operate all of the passenger services along this line. Well, it's quite prototypical I suppose because these are literally the workhorses of this line. Oh, I like that flange Train wheel. Sim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now while exploring the exterior of this train. Oh, there's another one passing us. Oh Christ, that's weird, isn't it? Yes, I do like the sounds. Oh look, there's another one over in the distance over there. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? I mean, I do like the sounds going on here, quite nice. But it's a lovely detailed unit, I must admit. In all honesty, it is, you know, we've got the danger warning stickers on the side there. We've got all this sort of weathering where all the bugs have hit the sides and stuff. It's all looking really nice. We've got some, yeah, we've got some nice bogey detail as well. Look at this. Uh, yeah, so look at all this slight weathering on the back Other here. internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed with the number keys. Got the nice, uh, uh, what do they call them, decliner coupling on the, on the back there. Got a speedometer on there. Um, oh, I like this. These little details are nice. Danger, live, exposed electric equipment below. That's, that's, that's nice. What else have we got around here? 
We've got a battery isolator. We've really a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Lots of... Oh, look at that fans turning there. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, well, Welcome now. to the East Coastway. Take on the challenge of keeping commuters and tourists on the move. Drive over towering viaducts, around rolling hills, and through coastal towns. Operate a multitude of service patterns between a variety of destinations. Deal with on-the-job and line-side emergencies. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, open ticket machines, fix damaged fences, and introduce new cycle maintenance points. Choose passenger or freight operations and take a trip along the East Coastway. You know, for a modern route, this ain't looking bad at all. Quite liking this. Let's continue and have a look at the 377 introduction, shall we? Welcome to this Class 3774 electric multiple unit in Southern Livery. This brief introduction will cover basic driving controls, passenger door operation and recovery from an emergency stop. Okay. Climb aboard to get started. Open the door. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Oh yes, got to sit in the driver's seat. Look at this cab, I mean, this cab's looking all right, isn't it? We've got, uh, obviously we've got all of our um, electric shock emergency actions. All crisp on there, looking smart. Do these, I don't suppose we can uh, really sort of activate anything else because it's just asking us to sit in the seat, but oh, we've got some uh, signalling and door release buttons. Got an emergency stop button, various other switches and, well, plugs and sockets. Sit in the seat. We've got screens. Activate the control desk as indicated. We've got to activate the control desk now, so master key in. The direction switch. Yes, yes. Directions. Apply some power now to get moving. But what about the AWS? Why haven't I sorted that out? Well, all the DRA, that's still on, isn't it? No, it's battery isolation. Okay, fair enough. What's the horn like? Should we listen to the horn? That's a nice horn. Let's have a listen to it outside. That's lovely, actually. That horn is, is really nice. Listen to how that fades. Yeah, I like that. Yes. That's a bit of all right, that is. That's not bad. I quite like some of that. Yeah, but as, because as we were looking around the details of the model earlier, let's, let's, let's have a little look more. So, yeah, obviously we had the spinning fan I was looking at before. Where was that? Oh, that was down here somewhere. There it is. That's really nice, isn't it? We've got the nice bogey detailing there. We've got the holes in the uh, the brake cylinder, the brake circles there, which is really nice. They're not actually that crisp though, mine. Maybe my it's something to do with my settings, but they look a bit, yeah, pixely. That's the only fault I'll have with those. We've got these like uh, yellow squares, yellow triangles here, which are nice. We've got some more Danger Live shoe gear that's nice that is it's got the shoe down there looking pretty good yeah and, and connected to the third rail as well which is really nice it's nice to see we've got uh accurate piping it's looking really nice along here obviously with the applied warning stickers again we've got a nice crisp numbering there on the side of the loco we've got the appropriate doors with the with with the um with the buttons on the side from where you press and they open. They even shine when they open and flash like they should and beep and close like they would in reality. We have a Wi-Fi sticker on there. That's really cool, isn't it? And also we have stuff like uh, the fire alarm call point uh, stickers and automatic door warning stickers. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it is full of detail, I must admit. It's full of detail, and I like that. I like that a lot. It's nice to see a nicely detailed model unit in the game. So, yes, yeah, so we've got some... Yeah, in all honesty, DTG, you've done well on this. Yeah, uh, you've done well on soundscape so far. And uh, the overall look of the model. So let's get started and get moving. Off we go. Oh, is this... Reduce the power and allow the train to coast. Oh, that's... The probably braking now. To slow down and stop, move the power brake controller into the brake range. Oh yes, so it's a, it's a dual brake and dual throttle isn't it on these units. Our speed set, have we got any, what else we got here? Door close, got door opening, door close manually, whistle, oh. Oh, depot whistle, we like that. We like that, we like the depot whistle. Oh yes. Oh, okay, so we've got to stop that location down there. Fair enough. It didn't tell us that, but there we go. Well, it just did now, but it didn't tell us that. It just said to slow down before, didn't it? Ah. Oh, no, we are moving. I was going to say, I think we've got to a dead spot on the track. Yeah, I thought so. So that's good. Um, we've got a dead spot on our track, so it doesn't apply power because there's no electric for the loco to pick up. So we're literally just <laughs> rolling down the hill. So I'm guessing until we reach that um, third rail down there, we won't have any power applied. That's a good feature, I like that. I really like that. Let's wait for it to cut in again, watch. Was it cut in? There we go. Listen to that, we've cut in now. That's cool that, I like that. I wonder what the depot whistle is on this, C? No, N? Oh no, no, of course. B? No. I wonder what the depot whistle uh, key is. But... Oh, I'm loving this soundscape. Brighton is a busy station. Wait here until clearance is given to continue. Oh, we've got to wait the road now. This is an interesting tutorial, isn't it? It's quite a longer one. Do we have any like controls here we can use? No. Um, door releases. What's the SDO? I don't know what that's for. All release. Hazard lights. Oh yes, that's nice. I like how you can do the hazard lights. That's cool, that's good, we like that. We like these sort of um, fiddle about features. We can even adjust the speed look, that's nice. Speed set, that's cool. Um, TPWS, sander, um, couple, a whistle, I like that whistle. Oh, it whistled right in time for that to come past as well. As well. Cab light. Oh, a cab light, come on, did it? Right, so. Ah, it's for the opposite side, that's cool. Got our screens. Oh, we can stop. Oh. Oh, that's nice, like that, how oh, that flips up like that. MCB. Do we have a driver to guards buzzer anywhere? Or we have tail lights, headlights, we want to set those to day running. T 
tail lights off. Where's the driver to guard? That's AWS. Do we have driver to guard's buzzer in here? We should have somewhere for DRA. There's the pedal. We've got the phone and obviously the bits and pieces. Blind. That's cool. Blind again. The window. That's nice, we have a sound difference in the window. I'll keep that open for now. Any of these switches work? Doesn't look like it. Door. Seat. Oh yeah, second man seat comes up and down. That's nice. Window again. Instrument lights. Oh, notice board light. Oh yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Cool, we like that. Car length. Four. Oh, you can change the. Ah, oh, it's twelve. Yeah, so that's that's correct now. It's practical. We're twelve length train, so that's how we want it. Yeah, this is quite nice. This. Yes. Okay, let's go. Depot whistle, don't we? <laughs> I like that. Let's go. I love the flange wheel on this. Really nice, isn't it? Oh, I've got to get used to driving this, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, slightly different to other locos I've driven. Now we can coast in. We've got our lights on, yeah, all good. That's what we need. Did it say not in service on our board? No, it says nothing. Okay. Oh. Well, we had the um, electrical cut out there. Oh, look, there's a nice puddle there. Oh, I like how it goes over every time it cuts out when there's no power being applied to the wheels. That's fantastic. I really like that feature. That's cool. Must admit, I'm quite impressed with this. You see, yeah, okay, DTG. You get some, get some applause for this. It is a nice piece of DLC. Use the power brake controller to apply some brake force to stop at the indicated point. If you stop short, apply power again to get moving. This is a good bit of DLC. I'll give it that. This is a good bit of kit. Sounds like an Electro Star. Feels like an Electro Star. Yeah. Looks like one too. They've done well. It drives nice too. Really nice. Really, you want to put this up to the buffers. That's how they usually do it in reality, isn't it? They uh, run it all the way up to the buffers. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, we are. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Okay, we can do that. I want to have a look anyway, because... Oh, I mean, it's not right up to the buffers, but it's close enough. Close the door. We want our lights changed now. We want marker lights only. Tell that's on Headlights off, tail lights on, that's how we want it. Okay. Unlock the doors. Hmm. Cab shut down. Select direction to off. Neutral. Oh, that's off. Master key out. With passengers boarding, shut down this cab and head to the other end of the train to prepare for departure. Can you turn these instrument lights off? Is there a way of doing that? It'd be nice to sort of find a way out to do that, but no, 
Prince wants us to go to the other end. Okay. Sit in the seat. Frame rate rise, I mean it's smooth when you look this way, but a slight more lag when looking this way. Probably because of the amount of trains and detail that is it's trying to load in and trying to render. is going on here this is a different cab what the hell okay interesting nice it's like you can close off and have your own little area I like that <laughs> that's cool all right let's get sit down here set the controls as before in preparation to move It's time to depart. Set the doors to locked. Okay, so lock. So, is, is this, can we lock these and does it lock all or? Where's the, where's the door lock button? I want to find, where's the door lock? Do, lock doors. I want to do the button. I think I just, did I, did I just, oh, of course I did, I just opened the doors on the wrong side now. Great, okay, right, okay, we're just gonna. I'm locking both doors now, but. There we are. Can't find the door lock button, but there you go. The route ahead has been granted, so apply power to get moving. Be aware that before arriving at the next station, an emergency stop will be simulated. Okay, so we've got to go to the next station, that's interesting. This is quite a long introduction of this. It's quite, quite cool. I usually wouldn't do the horn leaving on these, you know, electric trains, but, you know. This is nice, I like this introduction because it's a bit longer and it can get you used to sort of driving one of these locos. Because I'm not really obviously used to driving the uh, 377s. Nice scenery on this route, I must admit. I'm liking all the disused sidings over there, that's nice. We're we coming up to London Road again, yeah, going over this bridge, yeah. Oh, emergency stop. I take it that's the emergency stop being simulated. To recover from this situation, the controls must be set to off and then set to forward again. Okay, so do we go again now? I'm guessing so. There we go. That is the emergency stop simulation. train is ready to move again. Continue on to the next station. I already started moving, love. <laughs> Let's give me a little toot, shall we? <laughs> I 
I do like that. That is, that is a nice piece of uh, feature. Use the power brake controller to apply some brake force to stop at the indicated point. If you stop short, apply power again to get moving. I was expecting the AWS to go off. But... Whoa, it's efficient braking. I'll give it that. How we doing? No, oh, it's bang on. I'm okay with that, hang on. It's... Have I got mine set to 12 coaches and it's four? Oh no, it's set to four, okay, fair enough. Let's go poke out the window. So this is London Road Station. Nice uh, southern uh, emblem there on London Road there. It's quite nice. Lock our doors now. Good work. That concludes this introduction. More details on the operation of this train can be found in the manual. Fantastic. Okay, so we're, we're not going to do any more than this, I don't think, because otherwise uh, the video is going to drag on a bit. But so, yeah, this has been obviously my first look at the East Coastway route for Train Sim World, and well, it will be for Train Sim World 2 when that comes out. And uh, what do I think of it? Well, in all honesty, I haven't noticed any faults with it. I mean, I'm not. Um, I'm not hugely, obviously, I'm not a huge, massive fan of modern traction, as it were. But in all honesty, the route itself looks beautiful. Like, I mean, the, the scenery is great. The, the train's detail is great. It looks like a 377. It's got all of the correct details. And I love all the little bits and pieces, like the warning stickers and piping and, and obviously electric shoes and stuff like that. And I love how the physics of the loco, it cuts off when it goes over parts of track that aren't electrified I like all of that I like the sounds the sounds are actually really good on this loco it sounds like an electro star and um, it has all of the uh, obviously the flange squeal when it goes around the curbs and uh, the horn is actually looped nicely for once I'm actually not I'm impressed with the horn so yes, yeah, so I think overall this piece of DLC from Dovetail Games is one that I can safely say is nice, nicely done. So well done to you guys at Dovetail. And uh, yeah, so thanks you guys for watching my first look review on the Trains in World East Coastway route. This has been the 377. I'm not going to, I'm not sure whether to, well, I probably will review the uh, Class 66 because I haven't done a review on the Class 66 before, but I've got Great Western Express and I can imagine it's probably going to be recycled from that. But we can take a brief look at that in a different video and in another video of the review series. Okay, so thanks guys for watching this Train Sim World video. This has been Samuel Beeman of the British Locomotive Studios, BLS team. Uh, comment, like and subscribe for more content and share us about. And I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye guys.